Why don't we start, Lisa, with just your take on where the markets stand? You've listened to what Joe and I have been talking about. You're on Ron Barron's side that long term things are good, or do you worry about what might happen in the short term right now? Long term, we do agree really that stocks make sense for portfolios with that broader horizon. But in the nearer term, we really are cautious on the U.S. equity market, and it really is on the back of, of several factors. So as we look at what's going on macroeconomically, we do see still growth indicators in uh, that territory, but there is slowing that we're seeing across the economy. And on top of that, from a policy perspective, as you guys have mentioned, we see some of that fiscal stimulus coming off as well as certainly the Fed is, is moving to really tighten financial conditions in the economy. So those are risk factors, again, that really make us a little bit more defensive at this time. Michelle, the president saying that a recession is not inevitable at this point. What do you think? I guess inevitable, uh, it would be too strong of a word, but it's certainly, I think, an even bet at, at uh, we, we don't have a uh, recession officially forecast in our numbers, but but you know we all acknowledge that it's a it's a very real possibility. We've we've marked our numbers down. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a 2022 story, and we've we've kind of felt this way all along. The economy does have a, a good deal of, of momentum. You're still seeing uh, an unleashing, if you will, of pent up demand. I mean, Joe, we were you were talking about you know people still flying. I, I think you know you've got people who. You know, have made plans to travel over the summer and the fall. Like they're going to go through with that. I think it really comes to more of a fruition, uh, perhaps, or shows itself later this year, the holiday shopping season next year. What additional plans will people be making? I think 2023 uh, is where uh, the real question about recession will will begin to become more clear. Michelle, I know the Fed is paying much more attention to these consumer confidence uh, surveys that are out there, like the Michigan University of Michigan one. Those concerns, people worried about what's happening. We saw retail sales where a lot more spending actually went towards things like gas and, and, and food um, instead of some of the discretionary spending. But then you, you have people saying, well, we're talking ourselves into a recession. Are we talking ourselves into a recession or is this going to be a job market that continues very strongly? Or you have people who are worried that all the money that they've made, the wages that they, the gains that they've seen are being eaten up by inflation. Can they get higher pay from, from their employers? Does that put us back in this wage uh, inflation cycle? I, I just so many moving pieces right now. <laughs> there are. And, you know, it, it is true that there is not necessarily a direct correlation between how consumers feel, the consumer confidence numbers and how they spend. And, and, and what, you, what you were saying about talking ourselves into a recession, I mean, People look at the market volatility, they look what's happening in stocks, and they may not quite understand the ins and outs, but they know it can't be good, and, and that has to raise some, some caution on the part of, of individuals. But ultimately, I think it comes down to, you know, the ability of, of consumers to spend. What's driving those, that a lot of that decline in sentiment is the fact that they, they just don't see their financial situation as positively. They're concerned about higher inflation because they feel it when they have to spend more on gas and food. They just don't have the ability to be spending as much on a discretionary factor. So in the end, I think that reality is what probably creates the greatest risk more than just the their perceptions of kind of what's going on. And, and I think until we get inflation down uh, and until we see some relief on that front, you know, that is going to be the greatest risk that the consumer faces. just the inability, uh, I, I think, to continue to spend away from the necessities as, as, at the pace they have in the last couple of years.